Evan came to me this week and told me that there is a lot more work left on genital jousting than we'd originally thought, even after cutting a whole lot of features. The timeline doesn't look like it's going to be done the time when we're returning the Volvo that it's going to launch. Evan desperately needs to move on to your Jimbrel, which is also very pressureful and we're ticking on time on that game as well. So things are incredibly tense at the office. This problem is there's a lot of work that's on my plate that has to be shifted to Richard. He's, he's not likely to have spare time. This is going to put a lot of pressure onto Richard because Richard has to now take over all of that as well as do the online networking. Scary what to see when that happens. You know things are getting real because Evan's sort of able to take on like all sorts of things and just being even keel and just get stuff done. Uh, so when he starts to like panic, it's a bad sign. I mean, I, I, w I want to be able to focus on the gym what I want to be doing. Very, very stressed and I just hope we can get everything done in time. John wondered at everything Dix had achieved and how much they had fucked. And fucked up. Yeah, my list has doubled with things to do because I basically have to take the task on his list and finish it up. These are the things Evan's given me. Got to redo the victory screen, add menus, classic mode, party mode, options, and online. But it's fine, uh, it's a lot of fun stuff. Uh, work on the logo on the start screen, contact Andrew, can't remember who Andrew is, um, put saving in the game. I'm actually pretty stoked about it in a way because sort of things I want to do but don't, usually don't because he can just do them better so I get to do them now. Uh, pause and resume, unlocks with the giant cum tank and also show the cum tank off the victory screen, get assets from Marcel. having a genital jousting meeting and there's just so much to do. I will not panic. We could panic, this just, is, this just is not me about not that panicking. stuff. Just about that stuff, that's already been made. You should be used stoked, look how good we're doing. We're doing good. Uh, so, have we spoken about the logo yet? Because I mean, that can't go to Nigel. Act like it's a love, that is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> good. You've seen creepier things, Shaz. It's true. You've worked here a while. It's really creepy though. Yeah, so one of the tasks I have to do is uh, also kind of redesign, to some degree redesign, and finesse the genital jousting logo. Okay, so you've got the references. Do you know what you're doing now? I, I do. I'd like to just make 100% sure and go through the references one more time so that we're all on the same page. It just seems to be so many loose ends that it's very difficult to get anyone to really focus and commit to a certain direction on the logo. Well, what, I, what Shaz and I were talking about was potentially doing like a letter first yeah. and seeing how that goes. I really like this and you can feel the, you can really feel like it's painted in this as well. I feel like well. this is a little too gritty for my taste, cool. but I honestly think I would. That's also right, I'm happy just to like leave it up to you to choose the one you, you like the most. Okay, so which one are we gonna go with? Uh, the, the, you're saying to try and mock up here, like uh, ultimately doing the outlines, possibly the most important thing anyway. It doesn't really matter which style. But with the help of Shaz, our amazing producer, um, we've managed to kind of strong on uh, Richard and Evan into a particular direction, at least for now. Um, we also need to be very like aware of time. Mm. So he needs to do a logo, oh, you know, in a day. Uh, hopefully. It's gonna go a lot smoother. I'm just gonna be taking what is there, cleaning it up, and giving it a really good badass polish. 
<laughs> Alright, quickly now, Marcel, when yes. are you going to finish with your gym brawl rig? You said like five or six today, that's your day, right? Yeah, well, okay. I've been talking about discussing concepts with Evan oh, up until so now. So, you're not uh, going to be done by today, that's fine. No, I can be done by today, no, it's going to be a long night. No, 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 not a long night. I'm just, just trying to figure night. out where you are. Tomorrow then you'll probably be finishing the rig? Yeah, yeah, look, I need to finish the rigs and then get three animations out of it, which they don't have to be finished, but they have to be... Have to be done, so. <laughs> and they want new grass, so. I have to do new grass. Uh, so. Okay, Friday, can you do yeah, three yeah. variations just of one letter based on that style? That sounds right. Okay. Firing gun on race start. Then, let's see what else. Just says optical intercourse, I don't know what that means. Uh, double sided delight, work on the dildo mesh, it's overlapping. Your gym brawl is a Ronin themed fighting game. It's not long move lists you need to learn. You can jump in and do something cool. It's still for relatively hardcore players, but it's not a game that requires parrot fashion learning. Evan is determined to rebuild your gym brawl from scratch rather than just polish the existing prototype, which I think is bordering on insane. We only have a month and a bit left and it's just not enough time. But he's determined to stay on this path, so I have to support him and the team through it as best I can. Blank eyes are like a, it's a good feeling for this, for the, the amount of like detail we need. I think your jump roll's a little bit stressful, but it's going good. Uh, yesterday, Evan and I went through the concept stuff I, I created. This is the one, dude, but kind of maybe more better for yeah. like an enemy. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. the angles and the way that like things are shaped could work. Yeah. I think figuring out the tone of the game, even if the game's not going to be story heavy, it's nice to know what are the themes. Uh, it's nice to have Marcel on board with that. So it was a long conversation with a lot of information and surprisingly it went really well. Uh, it seems like there's a solid direction there, at least for now. Having small limbs, it's more likely for things to just like pass through on the physics side. So it's going good, but the pressure is definitely on. Uh, give more side burns here. Yes. Yeah, so since we're trying to make a character now that we actually would, might want, you know, we want to use. I think we can do it as long as we both focus on it at the same time. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Um, showing wins and fanfare, got a spew confetti. Art, bar in world, whatever that means. Audio, get celebration music. It's not arts and crafts day at Free Lives. I am using some scrap cardboard to make flags for the guys' computers so that when they're really plugged in and they don't want to be disturbed, they can put their flag up, like so. So if you see that up, you don't talk to them. Leave me alone! as I like to call it, the P3O flag system. Please politely piss off. Window. Red card. <laughs> did, you, did you see that, Marcel? Red card. Let's see it. Come talk to me now, even if you want. It's not loud. And I want it so bad. It's not loud. Um, linking up the content screen to the game. Race mode, only single lap available. And what else? Fix trails floating in the air. Martin music. Talk to John. Oh, this is online stuff. Just connect, sync, movement, penetration, scene, change. Just online stuff. Yeah. And how many days do you have to do this? Eight, maybe? Four. I'm actually not feeling stressed. I'm feeling pretty calm. Um, I feel like our deadlines are actually reasonable for once and things are coming together really well and yeah everything's gonna be fine <laughs>